Hi guys, it's Marky. How's it going? I picked up some new Hot Wheels. Wanted to show you guys. This one comes with a special feature. It's the five alarm. It comes in pink this time. This one hasn't been out in a while and they finally gave it a new color for 2022. From the Hot Wheels Rescue Series, eight of 10. The five alarm. Really nice uh, fire truck. And this one comes from N-Case, by the way, guys. N-Case, all the cars I'm gonna show you today come from N-Case, the last letter on the code on the top there denotes the case this is just a beautiful color for this uh fire truck the five alarm runway rescue written right on there number 68 for the year halloween i mean <laughs> halloween hot wheels was born and it says hot wheels airlines on there so this might be an airport runway rescue car fire truck very nice and the special feature is the moving ladder it shows it on the back of the card that's a special feature is just the Moving ladder moves up and down. Very nice. It does have like the the foam thing shooter that shoots the foam on the airplanes. The runway rescue. Very cool. Check out the big giant engine on there. Very, very nice. Little turbine on there on the top. Very cool. It does have a ring in chrome on the front uh, wheel and a white ring on the back here. Nice white stripe on the wheel. We do have the spiderweb style uh, wheels on there. I call them spiderweb. I don't know what the real name for those are, but to me, they look like spiderwebs. And here's the front end. See a nice bumper there, the lights, and check out the, the chrome looking windshield divided in two. It's a split window. Then on the back, we have those big parts uh, made out in chrome here at the, at the back. I don't know what those are called. What is that? Just like... I don't know what that is, but anyhow, we do have the bumper in plastic and part of the bumper in chrome up here. Then a big, nice trim in chrome. What well, looks like probably some something to do with the engine here on the side, maybe like some exhaust, see the little, little uh, kind of like indications of some holes there or something. And then on the base, not much going on, just a little something right there, a little something right over here. The five alarm stamped R23. Made in Malaysia again for 2022. Now uh, available in pink from N case. And we're coming to almost the last couple of cases of the year. N case, and there's no O because they don't want to confuse that with a zero. So there's, we skip from N to P case and then Q case. Q case is the last case for the year. There's the Hot Wheels logo right there. Very, very nice. I love it. Love it. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> Very nice. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What else do we have here? Ah, I have a, a new recolor. A new recolor. Let me see. What do we have? A blue. A new blue color for the low Lux. That is cool. I'm liking that. Let's open this one up. I forgot to open this one. Looks like I skipped them. My bad. I'd like to have these ready for you. But anyhow, this is a 2022 model that was out in red and now out in a new blue color, which it does look amazing in this color. Really nice, really nice, really nice. I like it. Very cool. Wow, we do have the green stripe on the wheel with the five spokes in the back. And what are these, 10 or 12 spokes in the front? Really cool blue color. This one was out uh, at the beginning of the year in the red color. And there's the red. They both have the number 33. Same exact graph uh, graphics. So if you found the red one, now you can get a blue one. And if you haven't found the red one, start looking for it. Because you can find the red one and add the blue one and have a nice pair to race down your track this is what i like about when they recolor a car then you can have a nice cool pair to to race check it out the lolux isn't that awesome that is so so cool loving the lolux the lolux the lolux very cool these look really nice let's see how they roll how they look when they roll the wheels look awesome and they really look cool when you roll the when you roll the hot wheels and you see the the wheels, how they, how cool they look. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> These are awesome. 
Really awesome. Smokestacks up here. Same thing on the new one. Blue and yellow, red and white, and a little orange in the middle. And then it has a darker blue over here in the middle. But very, very cool. They both are left side drives, no mirrors on the side, no uh, windshield wipers. We do have the chrome uh, bumper or spoilers on the front there on the back, on the bottom, I mean. And then the uh, the really cool plastic grill, kind of like a clear, clear glass look. Very nice. All open on the side with the left side drive there and the big tall bucket seats. Very cool. Nice big giant wing in the back. You see the spare tire in there. Wow. Very cool looking truck. The Lolux. Really, really dig the Lolux. <laughs> I do have another pink vehicle. Picked up another pink one. Let me grab the pink one. Let's show you the pink one. Because we did have uh, the fire, I mean the five alarm here for the runway. Check it out. The big, big Air Bel Air is now out in pink with the blue uh, lightning. Well, the lightning looks kind of like a white and then it has the blue outline. Very cool. Really nice graphics too on the car. Look at that. Nice pink color. It does have the driver with a black helmet. And they did not give us the uh, driver on this car. It just comes with uh, an empty cab there. Very cool. Again, all of these are from NK today. All these cars. Beautiful car right here. Get big air. <laughs> I like that on the, on the door right there. That looks so cool. Number 22 on the side there. The lightning up here. Then we have the lightning bolts up here as well. Really cool uh, pinstripes there, jerry cans sticking out there, lights on the top, there's the spare tire. What a cool looking big air, Bel Air is a custom, custom car of course. 57 that's been customized, nice 57 Chevy that has been customized, let's put these back here. Very very cool, let's see, let me look at the card real quick. Oh there it is, Chevy Bel Air, looking for the uh, series, 505 in the Chevy Bel Air series. That is awesome. Loving the Chevy Bel Air. Big Air Bel Air. No extra colors for the lights in the back. There's no uh, number or anything like that. Just the 22 on the sides. On the hood, we do have the Hot Wheels name on each side. And then the lightning bolts. The big scoop up here. Some details right there. Exhaust pu pu uh, picking out right here. I mean, peeking out right here in front of the door. Exhaust on each side. And then we do have these... Uh, uh, running boards on the side, very cool. All plastic, part of the base. Very nice. Chevrolet logo back here. Bilstein. Very nice details. The Big Air Bel Air, stamped R23. Copyright 2019 on this one, made in Malaysia, of course. Very, very nice. It looks amazing. I do have the black version, which was the last one I think they made. Before this uh, pink one. I think this was the last one. The black version. I know there's a gold one that was a, uh, a a GameStop exclusive. I did get that one, the gold one. Check it out. Very, very nice. I do have a white one and I have a gray one. So there's a few different uh, Big Air Bel Airs. Now we have the pink one, which looks really cool as well. Check out the lightning bolts on the black one. A little different, uh, difference in colors there, but more or less the same design. The black one says Goodyear on, the front, uh, on top of the front fenders and over here it says Hot Wheels. I wonder what's all what's that all about. They changed that up. And they have the Goodyear name back here as well. And then they have the Chevrolet name back here. Wow. Something happened with Goodyear, right? And then we have the Big Air Bel Air uh, bird right there on the... <laughs> get Big Air is what I should say. Get, get Big Air, a couple of lightning bolts, and we have the, the bird on there. Number 22 as well. Looks a little bigger on the black one, but very nice. These look really, really cool. Now, like I said, man, when you have two, you want to put them on your racetrack and race them. Hot Wheels leading the way. It ain't the same without the flame. <laughs> I also picked up, let's see, what did I pick up? I picked up the Volvo, check this out, Volvo 850 Estate in the black color. Wagon series, two of five in the series. This is a black one. Again, these all come from end case, brand new case. Showing up in my area, the black series, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get some P case cars. But here it is with the gray wheels, rice signature on the back, 
beautiful lights all the way from the top to the bottom there. Brake lights, some nice uh, badges on there, Volvo, Volvo and 850 right there, 850 Estate. Four-door car with a gate in the back. No license plate showing on the back there, no license plate on the front. We do have the spoiler, the bumper, really cool lights as well. Look at that. Let me move these cars out of the way. Very cool. Look at those lights. They look so nice with all the shadow and everything, the highlights, making it look so real realistic. This is a right side drive, and we do have the mirrors on the side. So the right side driver, we got gray trim on the bottom, black die cast on the top. We do have the nice sunroof on top, by the way, there. Very cool. Spare tire in the, inside the back there and the way back. <laughs> And the windows in the front are rolled down. Very cool in the black. The last one we got was green, metallic green. Here it is. Metallic green looks really cool. Look at that. Beautiful color. That is a really nice color. The metallic green looks amazing. Looks amazing. Let's see how they look side uh, next to each other, side by side here, or the side view. Nice. This one had the chrome wheels. This one comes with the gray. But the same kind of uh trim down the middle and then the base here is black this one's green so it matches the car same thing here matches the car color just except it looks more gray than black and like grayish maybe from far away i don't know maybe the light is just making it look gray but it looks really nice beautiful set of cars another pair that we can race we have the the two different colors what a great uh time to race these put them on the track and race them and i also picked up another cool in case recolor this one is the range rover classic has been recolored look at that look at that range rover classic looking amazing muddy tires all brown and you see the splatters on the side bam 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 this one comes from the mud stud series of course you can see that uh let's see mud stud series written here on the side four or five see the muddy tire mud studs very cool this color is kind of like a creamy yellow it's a lot paler than what it looks i think on camera i think it's a little paler than that it'll look paler so just think of it more pale i think it's just the lights make it look yellowish but yeah yeah very cool another end case find this one uh, is a recolor the last one we got was in a greenish uh, color there it is now that's a blue green color they both have the Expedition uh, written on there on the side with the Hot Wheels Expedition name. And then it says Rigid 15, BF Goodridge, Land Rover. Very cool. Now look at the tires on this one. These look more yellowish. And these look more on the brown. Bright brown. Oh, that's a brown color right there. So I don't know. <laughs> butterscotch maybe? That mud looks like butterscotch. So this is the new one, end case right here. And the last one was the blue one, or blue-green, or greenish color, with the brown base. And then we have the black base, or grayish looking base on the new one. They do have the windshield wipers. They do have the mirrors on the side, side view mirrors. They do have a little sunroof or moonroof up here. Very nice to see the little mirrors on the side there. It looks more realistic. They have the little windows, uh, corner windows in triangle shape. Uh, the windows are rolled down they are right side drives and it says range rover mud studs right there on the back we do have the license plate mud studs and the range rover and then over here it says land rover and little oval nice lights painted in with the reverse lights in white there the parking lights or amber lights parking uh amber lights in <laughs> in the amber color oh i'm saying that so bad so wrong <laughs> with the brake lights in red very cool. I like the uh, all the detail on the side, kind of like uh, one of those maps where it shows you the where the mountains are and all that cool stuff. The closer the lines, something, something. Is it closer the lines, the high, higher the peak? I don't know. Very nice, very nice. Very cool. Love it. Another pair that we can race on the track. See who's faster. The light pale yellow or the... Uh, or the blue green sea foam it's not really a sea foam i don't think it's more like a glossy enamel blue green color really pretty color too by the way and man this just looks more yellow every time 
almost a, like a really, I don't know, bright yellow. Very cool. So let's, uh, let's put all the new ones together so you can see them all together here. We got the five alarm, the Range Rover, and these are the older ones. We got the new recolor in blue of the Lolux. We got the new black Volvo 850 Estate. And we got the Big Air Bel Air in the new pink color. Oh, wow, that's cool. We got two pink ones. Don't see a lot of pink Hot Wheels. That's pretty cool. A couple of pink ones. And then we got the uh, recolors back here. One and two. Don't have a five alarm to show you today. And I got this one here. And I got that one there. So pretty cool. You might have some of these. Let me know which ones you have in your collection. Throw it up there on the comment box. Down there, actually. Comment below and... Uh, let me know how your collecting is going. What are you uh, looking for? What are you on the hunt for? What have you found? Have you found any of those treasure hunts? They're so hard to find. And uh, Or any of those supers. Those are hard to find as well. And let me know if you're new to collecting. What's going on with your collecting life? How are you displaying your cars? Do you just keep them in boxes or in cases? Collector cases? Or do you put them on the walls? What do you do? I'm just curious. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, I'm gonna throw some videos up here on the side and uh, my name's up there if you want to I mean my picture if you want to click on it so you can subscribe and uh, Thank you new subscribers. appreciate you a lot of new subscribers watching the videos Thank you guys appreciate you guys watching and subscribing to the channel So the videos will be up here on the side if you want to hang out some more click on one of those videos on the screen there We can hang out hang out a little bit more You can see some more cars from my collection talk a little bit more about cars. All right guys. It was great hanging out with you Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.